Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a bullet journal update with you guys. So this is my bullet journal. I am using it for um, my teacher planner. As you can see it says teacher planner. Um, these vinyls are some sticky sloth designs. She doesn't have them in her shop. I asked her to make them from me. This is from Taylor and Tucker. They do have this and they have a ton of like different um, bows and colors you can pick from. So I just kind of want to show you what I've done. Um, this is a Lloydstrom 1917 bullet journal dotted and it has the numbers in the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of go through it and show you what I've done, what is working, and we'll go with it. So at the front I put this pocket from Sticky Sloth Designs and I have just stickers that I plan on using and then my old freebies from Bodacious Prints in here because I like some of the stickers that I can use like the meeting sticker is really good. And then this is from Sticky Sloth Designs, it's my name in silver foil. And this is me that um, Whitney from Bodacious Prints drew. And then I just took some Happy Planner stickers and stuck them down here. This says it takes a big heart to shape little minds. I just love that and it is in, I don't know if you can see that, it is in foil. So that is that page. The first page you open up to is my table of contents and I am keeping up with the table of contents. And then um, I have my key which I have marked with a tab just so it's easier to flip through for me to flip to. My future log with um, all the dates that I need to know for the future for things coming up. And then I have my student birthdays over here and my goals for the year. Movies, we started watching The Secret Life of Pets this past week. And um, this is my passwords and stuff. Notes um, that I'm keeping track of. This is from the, uh, like the teacher in service days. We didn't have very many notes to keep. That was my shopping list for before school started. I only have one thing left. My schedule. This page I'm not using, and when I make my new bullet journal next year, I will not make this page. I'm not using it at all. I was planning on using it like this, like Monday, this is what we need to do in ELA, but I'm actually not even using it. Um, I'm just referring to the lesson plans we have printed, and that's it. So this was August. Um, I put tape on the first page because that is where it leads right into my monthly which has my habit trackers notes from any meetings we have in my future like look ahead um, I was marking all of the books that we were reading which was um, helpful and I really liked this I love this layout I even continued to use it in September because I just like how it's set up this works for me I don't need a giant uh, monthly calendar because we don't have like a ton of things going on um, in school like for my home life and everything else my Aaron Condren I love my big calendar but for this I don't need one um, my mood tracker, I love using this. My parent communication, we only had like basically one week in August, so I only contacted one parent. And then my two lines a day, which I absolutely loved. The recap, and then my uh, memories from the month, which I love. I love being able to have pictures in here and flip through it. And then these are my weeklies. So my weeklies are basically just my to-do list, and I have this little area of um, things that are going on each day. Basically, they're just to-do lists. This was um, ideas for the school year, need the teacher, my student numbers. And I like to change up my weeklies each week. Like, I don't like looking at the same thing. So, these are what the weeklies were looking like in August, and I absolutely loved them. I think this was one of my favorite ones because I really liked this part of it. And I like having an area for cheer. And then this is September. So same, this is the same, I kept the same layout for this. I changed up my mood tracker and changed, um, I only have six now. I kept my parent communication log, kept my two lines a day, my monthly recap and my memories, and then I go straight into my weeklies. And this is the first week in September, starting on the third. And I kept this part in a little spot for cheer. And then here is week two. I, the only thing I don't have on this week, which I wish I would have put, is this, like a little this week. Um, and it just highlights major things that are going on each day that I need to remember. Um, but I can just add that in on each day. And then that is it, guys. In the very back, um, I do have my um, grade book, which I don't have any grades in yet, but I will add pages as I need them. I have, should have plenty of pages back here 
for that. And then in the very, very back, back here I've been doing like pen test and I keep track of how many across and how many down. And then I put some notes, some post-its, and then back here I just have like pages and things that I need and um, some like die cuts that I could probably stick in and use and my ca a calendar for school. And then I have my pen loop. And that is it guys, that is my bullet journal update. I'm absolutely loving this. It is um, a great way to keep all of my um, to-do lists and everything that I need for school and it's very compact and tiny and it I can travel with it very easily. Um, it can fit right in my little pouch if I need it to and we can just go. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you all next time. Bye y'all.